So I came home for a few days to get some random computer stuff for my apartment and to finish a project that I uh, wanted to start. And I noticed that my parents were using their laptop instead of their desktop. And I was trying to figure out why, I didn't know exactly why, so I figured let's try and fix their computer because apparently it's broken. It'll just randomly turn off at some random time. And uh, I have three theories that I'm going to try and fix. I'm going to just do all of them at once, trying to rectify and fix an old crappy computer and try and make it a little bit better, uh, make it run a little bit better. So the first uh, thing I had uh, changed on it, I installed a new hard drive. Let's pull it out here. We're running a Western Digital Blue 500 gigabyte hard drive. It should be more than enough for their uh, uses. Um, I actually use the SATA port uh, as opposed to the disk drive, which actually still uses the ribbon. Shows how old this is. Uh, I left the old drive in here in case there was any files or anything they needed down there, but it's also running Vista, which is terrible. So I installed Windows 7, the refreshed version of Windows 7, installed on here, and I got their basic programs ready for them. Uh, the rest of the computer, you might think, well, that's pretty clean, giving it uh, several years old. And that's because I did clean it periodically for them. Um, but it's just a RAM stick missing, and I just found it. So apparently I took that out at some point. I don't know if it's because it's bad or what, but uh, I'm gonna put that back in there. I do believe that it's possible the processor and or cooler is the reason for the computer that's randomly shutting down. And I also think it might possibly be the power supply as well. So I wanna start messing with the processor here and try and fix that up and see what's going on with it. Let's redo the cooler and I actually found um, an old AMD cooler that I've never actually used just sitting around and um, so I'm going to be able to just install this in there instead, it might be a little bit better. It actually has coolant or thermal paste on there already so that saves me a step. It's a moment of truth, I don't know what it looks like underneath this. This is underneath a processor that's been basically on continually for about four years. I just ripped the processor out with it, so real bad shape. Some type of AMD processor. Let's adjust the focus for you. Let's try and get this off. I'm gonna file this under do not try this at home. There we go. <laughs> Thermal paste was in pretty bad shape on this processor, so I think this thing might have been overheating. I think that is about as clean as I'm gonna get it. It's definitely a much better looking processor now than what it did look like underneath that. So yeah, this stuff was baked on, like, usually it's a little moist and kind of can come off pretty easily, but that was, that was the worst thermal paste I've ever seen. Alright, so I guess we'll try out this new cooler that I was able to pick up. Down. There we go. Plug this boy right in here. Voila! The new cooler on there. And here she is. Hopefully, she's uh, good to last some time. I've still got a sweet printer thing back in there. Oh yeah, com cable too. Damn straight. Hopefully, uh, will last a couple more years anyway.
So for about $100, we were able to fix a probably six to seven year old machine and make it functional again. And we put a new hard drive in, we just put on a new cooler, new thermal paste, we just kind of tuned it up, cleaned it up a little bit, and it's running just brand new. If you like this video, feel free to give it a like. It really helps me out. Feel free to subscribe for more videos. We have all sorts of new content coming your way in the future. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you again next time.